actually vlogging with my camera and the camera died or no the camera didn't die battery's not dead it was my car is full so move on over here to the phone you know how that go but anyway like I was saying this is pretty much a week in my life and I got my clothes ready for the whole week but let me show you what I'm wearing I was showing you this baby gal here and this is new to my collection. I, this blazer is new. So um, it's actually oversized and I really liked it because of that. It's extra large. Normally I would have probably gotten this in either, probably like a large where I am now. Um, I, most of my blazers are large. But because this is kind of like oversized um, and has this like extra material pleated or whatever you want to call this type of thing i really like this blazer it is a little bit big around the back part but that's okay because it actually comes down lower and um that's pretty much what we rock in these days the lower blazer um covering like the hip area covering down to the hip area which is cool with me um i like that especially for the work even and i can wear this and pull this off at church for church and I actually have a skirt something similar to this like leather style faux leather material so that's gonna be real cute when I pull that off that baby off at church so I'm gonna wear a pair of slacks this is Monday and then um just a professional top up under here so yep that's Monday this is Tuesday a, this is pretty much like a double breasted um, sweater. I've had this quite some time now and it's very professional. Bring it up here and button it here. Um, and then I do have a gray top that I'm going to wear, like just a, a fitted kind of top, whatever I'm trying to button it, but I think you guys get the point. And slacks, gray slacks to match. And then I'll probably wear a pair of my cowgirl boots, either the black or the brown ones, probably the black one so and then this is the top it was being um folded <laughs> but i'm wearing it actually on tuesday so this is tuesday this is wednesday right here i probably should knock the wrinkles off but by wednesday those should have been them fell out or have fallen out or whatever however so this is wednesday you can get away with these kind of denim at work and dress it up with a pair of nice shoes and that's Wednesday. A sweater, a top, and denim. Then Thursday, just a pair of cream color khaki style nautica slacks and a sweater and a top up under it. I like that look. And honestly, I might swap this out for Wednesday and wear Wednesday, Thursday, and vice versa. I haven't worn this sweater before. It's new to my collection. Really cute. I'm liking it. It kind of fits like croppy, kind of croppy a little bit, but the top goes down far, so you're not getting too much of what you shouldn't get. But this is the look. So this may be Wednesday, or it may just stick with Thursday, however. Okay, and then this is Friday. I'm going to be really pushing it a little bit with the little rips, but it's Friday. And, um, yeah. I probably can get away with it and pull it off, but so far so good. I'm ready for the week. Week in my life. Sweater, top, and jeans. Also a part of my week in the life, you guys, is doing my cleanse after the holiday, y'all. I like to go on a little cleansy cleanse. Let me show you what I'm using and enjoying. So, let's see. Today, I am using Dawn three in one. Three in one. I did the Celestial Raspberry Herbal Tea just for the taste and flavor. This was the big big one here this was the purpose here um the colon cleanse tea herbal tea um y'all see what it say there you go i ain't even gotta go there with y'all read it for yourself okay and then also for flavor um upside down the cinnamon black tea um and all just for cleanse cleansing purposes 
I dropped in a Ricola and a Hoff and a honey spoon. I need to get some more honey spoons from TJ Maxx because I ran out or Marshalls, whichever one. I hear that they always have those honey spoons. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? If I um remember to put it in the video, I'll show you guys. But we ran out of honey spoons. These are my Ricolas here. This is the one I've used and um, one of the halls. So this is our health and wellness center, you guys, if you don't know. The apartment did not come with like a medicine cabinet, but we were like, we don't really need a medicine cabinet anyway. We're not on medicine. So we have a whole health and wellness center here. And when I tell y'all, hubby got a jam pack of stock with all kind of um, supplements and just all of the goodness that brings on wellness. We here, we stocked, we stocked locked and loaded over there so but anyway yeah that is also a part of my week in the life i started my cleanse this morning what i really haven't let me see what did i have today i have my water i need to drink some more water now that we think talking about it but um don't never mind all of that over there because i'm gonna get to that i gotta clean up the kitchen but um yeah so then i had my water my tea and what else did I have today? Walnuts. I had walnuts during church. And then a few slices of cantaloupe. No, not this, I hate cantaloupe. Okay, this is, I think this is called honeydew melon. Cannot stand cantaloupe. It, oh, the flavor, the aftertaste, hate it. Not my jam. Not my jam jam, y'all. But anyway, so I got my water here. Water is life. Make sure you get your water in. This will be my third cup. I still got to get in more. Y'all know how it is when you're trying to do all of this here. Whatever you're trying to do. <laughs> That's about two cups. Got it down, y'all. Ran up out of water. That was the, the end of that. So I think we got a new one under the cabinet. Yeah, we do. New one right here. So, yeah. I don't really know what all I'm going to show you guys. See, that's why I had the little cough drop earlier. Hold on, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. I don't know what all I'm going to show you guys this week, but just know that it's a week in the life of Carla just vlogging life with cameos from my hubby. Eric just vlogging life who is out getting us out back today because I'm not cooking and he's not cooking and we're having out back we're just gonna have salad so I'm having a salad a Caesar salad um, with sal salmon Caesar salad and green beans and I probably will only do half of the salmon because um, on top of doing the cleanse post the holidays I have a test that I'm taking re-up and on know how that insurance thing do so but anyway yeah um yeah 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 i do know that we are going back to the storage to drop off the things that we did not use for the decor christmas decorations because i just decided we're not pulling out all of that stuff i pulled out enough a few little knickknacks of uh, dishware cookware and all of that um i did pull out the santa claus and everything for the tree and that's about it Oh, and my little candle thing, you probably can't see it, it's off camera from Bath and Body Works, but, oh, and I got a little Christmas tree over there and a little reindeer, <laughs> just a little bit of stuff, y'all, I promise, because I, I just brought too much stuff out, like, it's ridiculous, so, but we're, we'll take that back at some point this week, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing, that's what's going on. Oh, also, you guys, I'm wearing my workout weights. I like to wear my workout weights. <clears throat> Am I coming down with something? Lord, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, okay? Uh, so leave, whatever it is, trying to emerge. We don't even play that around here. But anyway, so you guys, I'm wearing my workout weights. When I'm around the house, sometimes, um, especially when I'm actually um, intentional about it, I will wear my workout weights around the house and just uh, move about, you know, with the weights on. The weights help with managing my weight and actually helping me lose weight and shed pounds and all that good stuff. So I am wearing my workout weights. This is 20 pounds that I have on 
No, not. No, it's not 20 pounds. I forgot how many pounds this is. I'll scroll it on the screen. I can't even remember how many pounds I'm wearing. Because normally I put on about a full 20 with my hand weights and my wrist weights and I don't have them. So this is about 10, 10 pounds or something like that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, y'all know how I do. Bonnet time. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me and the smile is quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate bar. So I'm gonna use light, zesty Italian. <clears throat> oh, I hope I'm not getting a little bug there. Oh, baby, you gotta open this one. I'm about to try that. So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. I don't need any presents. As long as I spend the day. So spoiled. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful kiss on a little bit of 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 a a we can follow the moon until we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. And then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. I think I picked the wrong sorry about that. I had the heat on. It's cold. It's only 49 degrees. It was 50, but I guess it dropped. But anyway, I picked the wrong week to do a weekly walk because I had to <clears throat> go in and get a procedure done. So, yeah, talking and vlogging might not be what I'll be able to do this whole week. Well, at least until I get free from the numb. I hate the numbing. I hate it. So, please forgive me. And, uh, yeah. Talk to y'all when uh, why we're gonna go inside. I get all this together. <laughs> Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a legitimately it's been six hours later and I'm so still so so numb. I don't think it's ever gonna go away. I don't think the feeling is pure gonna like come back. That's how I am. Mm -hmm. Like ever. Good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday, November 28th. And uh, yeah, I'm on my way out the door. Baby has the day off, so he will be at home chilling, doing things around the house, probably gaming a little bit and watching some ratchet reality TV. So yeah, good morning, y'all. I will see y'all later. Probably later on in the vlog, my mouth is feeling a way lot better. Y'all see, I'm back to choppy, choppy, talking up. Vloggy, vloggy, vloggy style. But seriously, it took about, oh, till 11.30 at night for me. Well, probably about 10.45, 11-ish for me to really start feeling like I was back to myself. So I'm back and I'm better. And uh, yeah, I'm on my way out the door. I'm not running late. And uh, I'm out of here. This is my outfit of the day. I started to change and wear Wednesday on Tuesday. But, no, I'm still wearing Tuesday today, y'all. So, yeah. There we go. Baby, say good morning to the people. Good morning to the people. It's cold with the cold, y'all. Got my isotoners. It's freezing. So, I threw my wig on today, y'all. Y'all know how I do. Popped it on top of them braids, baby. And, uh, yeah, I was supposed to do, like, my four braids to the back. But y'all already know it was a whole shenanigan yesterday with whatever was going on around in here. And I think I'm kind of swole. What y'all think? Mm -hmm, but, see, I have, 
I've always had like double jowls kind of thing. Even when I was a little girl, when I was small, boom, boom. I'll show y'all a picture if I can find one. I mean, a baby. Listen, ain't no way somebody should still look how they look when they was an infant, but I do. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, I feel like I'm a little small up in here. Just a little bit, not a lot. They did me right. I like that place that I went. I mean, not that place, but that particular dental office. We like that one. But anyway, so yeah, it's freezing cold. Y'all, I'm going to put a word of the day in for you guys while this car defrost. And um, get on up out of here for Tuesday. This is Tuesday's little portion of the weekly vlog. Y'all, this is a week. A week in my life vlog. And y'all, I got to get my praise and worship on. I did that yesterday morning. Lord woke me up at about 4 in the morning. And I was just praying in my spirit and in my sleep. Got my praise on. Listened to my sermon and all that good stuff. But I need to do that today, y'all. So on my way to work, that's what I will be doing. Lifting up the name of the Lord, y'all. And um, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> See y'all in the next clip. Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, November 29th. Y'all, I'm running a little bit behind. So this part of the vlog is going to go by real fast. So this is my outfit of the day. This is what I'm wearing. I've been super duper. Like Monday, I was kind of tired. But yesterday, I was super duper exhausted. Work, y'all. That work life. That's how it be. So yeah. But anyway, I'm running a little bit behind. So I got to get on up out of here. And uh, I wish you well. And I'll see you in the next clip. Look at this sunshine. Y'all see the light shining. This little light of mine, honey, I'm gonna let it shine. Chow! Mm. My mouth is still small. You see that little lump right there? But that kind of, I told y'all before, I get the little jowls. That's okay. I had them since I was a baby. But anyway, so yeah, this week, you guys, I just popped in here with another clip real quick. <laughs> this week, you guys, has been going by um kind of fast a little bit, but y'all, I am exhausted and trying to vlog for y'all oh my goodness mm. it's a whole shenanigan that's what it is y'all but anyway it's a good day this is the day that the lord has made honey let us rejoice and be glad in it the sun is out shining it's bitter cold out here in these parts of alabama under the freezing mark okay 32 is freezing 31 is under 32 <laughs> and it's cold but God is good all the time whether it's cold, hot, rain sunshine sweet, snow, wherever you are in the world, God is good let me turn on this heat, hold on on my feet, girl, child, my feet cold and I was um hold on y'all I know I'm gonna get off work pretty late today you guys because um, I'm going in a little late, way later than what I normally go in um, but my plan is to get my breaks today and my lunch. Yesterday, I spent my lunch. I had to send some things through the mail to my son. So, I spent my lunch hour doing that. And, um, well, lunch break. Not an hour. Okay. But, today, I'm taking my lunch break and my two other breaks. Whatever breaks they are. I'm taking them, y'all. We got to start taking our breaks. That's a part of our self-care. At work, take your breaks and use your days. Because, child, sometimes they don't roll over. Or even when they do roll over and we're not taking them, how are we caring for ourselves if we just letting them have our days like that? Don't wait for them to pay you out. Ain't no amount of money worth your preserving yourself on some level. So, take your breaks and use your time if you have it that's my word of the day to somebody because child mm, i was super duper tired and i needed a break yesterday tuesdays are really really exhausting and just they're really exhausting we exhausting we have a lot that we do on tuesdays with the children and family so but yeah and shout out to my hubby because he had two days off this week monday and tuesday right after thanksgiving and he deserved every ounce of that time off. I was so super duper happy for him while I was out being the breadwinner. He was at home getting much needed 
rest, relaxation, relaxation <laughs> from the job, from me. Job, girl, I'll be wearing a man. <laughs> I'm so spoiled. Such a baby. Such a baby. But anyway, y'all, so, but yeah, my hubby deserved that time off, so he was able to rejuvenate, recuperate, just be on chill mode and wind down, get up when you want to, stay up how late you want to, whatever you want to do, just chill for two extra days, you know, we, he was off, you know, for Thanksgiving or whatever, but anyway, I just wanted to give him a shout out because this was his first day back to work, and uh, yeah, he deserved every bit of that time off, y'all, so. I'm not speeding. It might look like that. Sometimes I notice when I'm uh, editing my vlogs, it looks like I'm speeding. I'm not really speeding. I might be a little speeding today, but not really. What is the speed? I'm 45. Okay, yeah, I am doing a little bit older, but <laughs> girl, child, I'm trying to get there. But arrive alive safely, y'all. That's the goal. <laughs> oh, y'all, one more thing. Pray for the people at y'all job because sometimes they can come up at you out of pocket and real like off the wall. It was this lady, she's not in my department, but I parked in the parking spot. This was on Monday. I meant to tell y'all this, but y'all know things was running real, you know, just kind of fast this week. But anyway, so I parked in the parking lot. So it was so cold when we got back to work from Thanksgiving that the building just never warmed up, never warmed up. And I hate to get cold to the bone down. Like, I don't like that. And I was cold, y'all. I was cold to the bone. And so I went to my car and I'm like, I need to warm up. So I took one of my 15s in the car to warm up. And lo and behold, the lady, this lady pops up, you know, out of nowhere. Really, she was walking by. And so I spoke, you know, and she leaned in like into the windshield. And I thought that was really odd and strange. But anyway, so she comes on over because I let the window down because I was like, I didn't mean to stop her. I was just saying hello. So she, I was like, oh, I was just saying hello. She was like, why did you park in my spot? Now, in my mind, I'm like, yo spot, I didn't see your name on it. We don't have a sign spot. So we just park you wherever we want to park. So she is like, um, this is my spot and everybody knows it. Everybody can't know it because I didn't. So, so she said something happened. So she likes to park there because the camera is there and all of this, that, and the other or whatever. But it was her aggression. And I noticed, I'm like, well, I was just speaking and she never said hello. But when she looked into my windshield, it was like a mean mug and like kind of off. So I said, you know what? I will never park here again. You know, we had to work place. You got to be professional. You can't, you know, like it's not Walmart parking lot where you could just go ham on somebody. I'm not going to do that. So I, I said, I'm not, you know, I'll never park here again. I'll never park here again. So I said, okay, I, I got you. So um, then I think she recognized how her come across was and she started explaining like, well, I'm going through something. My dad is in all the way in Chicago. I'm not getting any word about him. They're saying they may need to take him to hospice. So she was already on the phone when she walked up and I could hear her when she was walking by and she happened to do a double take to see who was in the car. I thought she was speaking to me but she wasn't. She was just about to check me. <laughs> what she did. It was a straight check about her parking spot. I don't know how it's her parking spot. But see this is why you gotta have the Beatitudes within your heart. Like the temperament and the character of the Lord. Now me, after I processed it days later, because I, I ran into her again yesterday when I was leaving and she was walking off somewhere and she had her phone again. So I was just like, you know what, well, well, Lord, I'm just going to pray for her because I don't know what's going on with her. You know, I hope everything is okay. And then I just said a little prayer within my spirit as I'm driving on off of the um, job parking lot and just pray for her because I could have took that the wrong way the old me you know going there you know saying illegitimate things about her or whatever in my mind or, or out loud or whatever but I didn't and you know even afterwards when I processed it I, I really do thank the Lord for having that opportunity to be able to pray for her the traffic is thick up here y'all sorry Usually it's not that thick. That's why I try to get here early because um, some of the school traffic I be trying to miss it and 
the crossing guards there. They they're really nice. They and the police be right here and all that stuff. So, um, but anyway, I thank the Lord for having the opportunity to pray for her, you know, as a sister, sister in Christ. Um, she was giving me a hard, hard, mean mug. You know, but when I encounter her, I noticed that even before this situation, she's she just kind of like one of them kind of people or whatever. Like, she's going to give you the mean mug. But people have things going on, and you can't always misinterpret what, some, you know, like what's going on, especially when you have the Holy Spirit in you, when you have the Lord in you. We're, we're not supposed to be so offended and offensive and and taking things the wrong way and being aggressive about certain things and um hopefully you don't match fire with fire in the moment and then you're able to process it and be like okay well that was just a moment and maybe either my sister or my brother okay you guys so just getting off work real late child why why am i getting off work this late because I didn't even have lunch today. It was just fast-paced moving. Too much going on in one day. And I barely finished what I needed to finish, but I did get my task done. All of them, all of my assignments and tasks, tasks, <laughs> multiple tasks that I needed to get done. I got them done today. But um, yeah, so your girl is tired. And <laughs> I did not intend on this to be a weekly kind of vlog, like a weekly vlog that was me telling y'all I'm exhausted and tired just from work. So we're going to have to step it up a notch and kick it up a notch and do something fun. I don't know when it's going to be, but child, I'm going to get it together, get my wife together. Probably going to have to take me on a date night or something, something fun. This is not fun. <laughs> but I'm making that bread, y'all. So that's, I guess that's guess that's a plus to all of my stress and all of the things that go on with the work day so but y'all yeah good morning vloggy boos today is november 30th the week is trucking along it's a thursday y'all friday eve and yeah this is my outfit of the day i did stick with thursday's outfit of course and uh yeah i'm not running a little bit late like i tend to do sometimes but I do have to get on up out of here. So I will try to see y'all in the car if traffic is not too heavy and all that good stuff and chop it up with you guys. Um, but if not, then I definitely will see you later. Good morning, vloggy boos. coat y'all been clutch i done had this a few little years and uh i'm so happy that i didn't say oh i'm moving to a warmer climate let me get rid of it because it's been pretty nippy it's 36 degrees outside and uh yeah girl child it's cold and i got my gloves too you know those are always clutch too so it must be freezing up north i'm thinking it's bitter because it's cold here it's bitter i'm talking eyeballs hurt cold and eyeballs running like making your eyes water i don't like that kind of cold mm -mm. i didn't been in that before I had to walk to school and everything back in the day day and uh it'd be cold in the d and in chicago and new york and all them places baltimore all that mm, that might be something something to that all the little inner cities be cold like that why mm. So y'all, I was telling hubby that I'm like, I told the bloggy booze about what happened at work the other day. So, of course, his response totally different from what my reaction was, which was to say to me, next time somebody come checking you, you be okay, that baby, come on now. Honestly, y'all, what would y'all have done? Because personally, me, I think that God sent her along my way for me to offer up a prayer on her behalf and when you going through and obviously sis was going through because i'm telling y'all she was very she was pacing very upset her father nearly in hospice she can't locate him it sounds like i don't know if they put him in hospice already and she don't know what hospice he's in or whatever happens but 
the thought of you being in a whole nother state, your loved one somewhere else, they're older, could be, you know, in the process, the dying process. Um, I, my heart went out to her, but baby seemed to think that I'm supposed to check the woman. <laughs> I personally don't think that I should have checked her. If these glasses are filthy, y'all, please forgive me because I think I see a little bit of filth and glare, but fingerprints, you know. But anyway, so yeah, I just feel like she was sent along my way so I could offer up a prayer for her, like I said. And I know me, if I'm, you know, emotionally distraught, disheveled, all out of source and out of pocket with my presentation and my disposition I would want and hope that the Lord would send somebody along my way for them to pray for me but I guess everybody don't feel like how I feel and I know that my husband would especially if it's the job he would not have done that because it's the job you don't want to lose your job you got to think about your livelihood you got to be a little bit more emotionally uh, intelligent and emotionally apt and I know that my husband is he he just was playing then again he might not have been because he seemed to always be and sometimes we're being tried by the lord and so hopefully we can pass the test i hope i pass the test because you never know in situations like that if you're being you know um put to the test so you can pass it with flying colors and all that good stuff because the lord definitely will take you to that next level by presenting situations that come along your way that he wants to see how we respond and how we react. And I, I, I hope I pass the test with the Lord. I mean, I don't care how nobody else feel. Husband, y'all, nobody. It's <laughs> If I feel like that's something that the Lord, you know, led me to do and, and think and be spiritually, then that's what I'm going to do. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Sorry. I just can't, all the time, I can't be about that life. I can't be about that smoke. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, y'all. So this is Carla just vlogging life. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because we like to have a little bit of fun over here. A lot of bit of fun. You you know you you won't be disappointed. And if it's your new, your if if it's your first time being here and you're new, comment below and let a sister know. As well as answer this question for me. Is your thumb up? Is your thumb up? Put your thumb up. <laughs> Let us to know that you're here all the way, all the way around. Comment, thumbs, subscribe, check in. All right, I'll see y'all in the next clip. Peace. Hey, y'all, hey. So I'm off work. I got a little bit of a quick update. I ain't going to be before you long. Listen, so update. This morning when I got to work around about 9.30, no, probably about 9.15. The lady who I've been telling y'all about, she came and stopped by my office. So she said, um, is it okay? She knocked, you know, and, and said, is it okay if I talk to you for a minute? So I said, oh no, sure, come on in, come on in. And so, um, sorry about that little bit of traffic. She apologized about the other day and she is like, you know, I really, you know, I realized when I got home later on that night how I came across and I thought about it and I've been thinking about it and I've been you know really thinking about you and how that probably you know basically like impacted me I guess if you will she didn't she didn't say those exact words I'm paraphrasing a little bit here but basically that's what she, what she was saying and so um she ended up she ended up saying, you know, she was apologetic and she was sorry. And I said, well, you know, it's, don't worry about it. I, I totally understand it. Even though I, I, I accepted her apology, I said, I accept your apology, but I, I didn't take it personal. And, um, actually I was ended up being grateful that the Lord sent you my way where I could actually put your situation, you and your situation before the Lord, you know, um, and pray for you. And I have been praying for you. I told her that and so then she um she ended up saying well thank you because I really really need it um she went back into all of what she was going through and how she may have to um leave tonight actually to go out of town to be with her dad and she didn't know how long she was gonna actually be gone so I was like well I'm definitely keeping you in my prayers and traveling mercies and all that good stuff 
and um, she told me, she said, well, if I, um, she said, if, if I have time before you leave today, I may stop by your office, you know, depending on how, to, I guess, the day go with both of our work, um, so you can pray for me and with me, and I said, oh, sure, please come on by, you know, come back, come back, um, and and I, I thought about it. I should have told her if you don't come find me I'm gonna come find you but I didn't want you know want to be that aggressive I just was like okay sure you know come on by but then of course we got busy during the course of the day and literally just now when I'm pulling off to leave she was getting out of her car and um saying that you know, she said, thank you for praying for me. You know, I, I stopped. I was like, you, you okay? She said, I'm sorry I didn't get the chance to come by your office. But I've been really busy. So I said, oh, that's understandable. She said, but everything already working out. Everything's working out. My dad is in a hospital and not, you know, in hospice. But he's in a hospital and it's, it's some um, hospital that must be affiliated with the church or has something to do like the name might be Christ King or Christ something church or whatever and she was like you know she already felt the prayers working and everything and I told her I said yes yeah, sis you know you you're gonna be all right he's gonna be all right everything is already all right sometimes we just have to call those things that be not as though they were and I told her I said it's already all right you know you all right you and he's gonna be all right and you just have to give it to the Lord let his will be done and take it from there but I was you know really happy and um you know just grateful to be a blessing to somebody else in a vessel for the Lord like you know I don't always make the best decisions and I don't always like I'm not a perfect person of course none of that God ain't finished with me he's still working on me honey trust me <laughs> and so but at the end of the day where we can do better and be better and and, and and let that little light shine we we should you know we that's what we're we're required we're, we're required <laughs> to do as christians lord have mercy i guess if i had a thousand tongues i wouldn't be able to tell about his goodness honey but um but for sure again i really felt like just grateful to be in the position to be blessed to be a blessing so yeah y'all keep my co-worker in her in y'all prayers and keep her and her family lifted up and all that good stuff because um yeah god is good honey all the time and all the time god is good <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to give y'all a little bit of an update i will see y'all in the next clip peace Good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 1, you guys. It is December 1st, y'all. Where did the year go? OMG. It's going to be something like a Vlogmas weekly vlog. I just decided that because I forgot that Vlogmas kicks off and I've been doing my weekly vlogs. So I'm going to pepper in like some little Christmas sounds and all of that stuff and Christmas music. But honey, listen, let me tell you something. First of all, I don't have time to tell y'all because I just remember it's 6.41 in the morning and I got to get out of here at 6.45. It's a rainy day out. Rainy day vibes are going on and yeah, kind of dark and gloomy and dreary, but this is still the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That's y'all word of the day and uh, I'll see y'all when I get on the road. This is Carla just walking by. Mwah. You guys, if y'all been rocking with me all week long, Drop me some cute little Christmas emojis in the comment section. And I'll see y'all in the car with a little bit of the car chat. Just a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so we made it in the car. I'm like at least about five extra minutes later than what I wanted to be. And um, yeah, so but we chugging on along. I'm letting the car warm up because yeah I was just telling a friend of mine that I'm so super grateful in these days and times to have a car that's paid for I've had this car quite some time now and what is this on the steering wheel child uh -uh. look at that and I need to get my nails done Having a five up above. and a car wash but after it rains I think that was lotion because yesterday I was putting lotion on See how easy it came off of what it stuck. But anyway, so um I'm just super ever grateful in these days and times 
well, me and my hubby to have our vehicles be paid for child because mm -mm, ain't nobody bought that life but it's raining so girl got your hood on <laughs> don't let your wig get wet <laughs> so but yeah let me um i'm letting my car warm up a little bit and get on up out of here i think that pretty much was good enough it's kind of chilly today it's 48 degrees not too too bad so i guess maybe i don't need the hood on in the car what y'all think take it off i need to order me a new baby i love when they get extremely super duper fluffy good morning <laughs> must be a neighbor i don't know none of these people up in here but you speak i speak um and I love when it get fluffy, but I don't like when it get matted. And it's kind of getting there past fluffy, more matted. But yeah, so I'm gonna order a new new baby. <laughs> Cause they super duper cute when they brand spanking new. So I think today I'm going to wear my isotoners, steering wheel, kind of cold. I don't like my hands to be cold, y'all. But anyway, so, whew. Child sis, let me get on up out of here. Be with me today, Lord. It's a big, 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 big day. All right. See y'all.